What we're doing in this study is we're looking at uh, some of the newer drought uh, tolerant traits in corn. And, and all the major seed companies are working on drought tolerance. Uh, what we've got represented today is, is hybrids from Syngenta and also Pioneer. We don't have Monsanto right now because of where they're at in the regulatory process with their drought tolerant corns, but we'll have their, we'll be looking at their corns in the future. So what we're doing, we've got four hybrids of each of each company's, uh, two of each are drought tolerant hybrids, and then we're comparing those to conventionals. And then we're also looking at plant population. Uh, we have three plant populations that we're looking at, and we're looking at each of those populations and each of those varieties at different irrigation levels. So we have fully irrigated corn, which is 100% ET, and right now, up to this point, and we're at about the half starch line on the corn, we've put on about 28 and a half inches this year on that corn uh, for the fully, fully irrigated or full ET. On the 40%, that's the lowest irrigation level we're using, we've put on 13 and a half inches to give you a comparison. Uh, so I'm going to have Jake Becker, this project is part of his master's program, explain what he has seen uh, with these corn hybrids and these irrigation levels and populations uh, up to this point. Uh, what we've got here is the Board of Ears. Um, we're looking at both Pioneer and Syngenta here in these, uh, under these conditions. Um, one thing to note about this is these, these two companies are planted at different populations. Um, it's really hard to compare them, so I, I'd kind of caution you about that. But anyways, Pioneer is calling their drought tolerant offering Aquamax. Um, and what we have over here is 100% ET and then 50% ET with both their conventional variety and then an Aquamax variety right next to it. Same thing over here at the 50%. Uh, if we step over here to the Syngenta, planted at 32,000. Um, once again, they're calling their drought tolerant artesian. Um, you can see here where they've got their conventional corn and then their artesian corn uh, side by side here at 100% ET and 50% ET. Along the bottom of this board is kind of a population, just looking at a population, this is all the same hybrid going across the bottom. Um, under 75% ET, we have corn at 40,000 and 24,000 seeds per acre. Uh, we can step over to the 65% ET, here's 40,000 and here's 24,000. And we can step all the way down to 40% ET and we have 40,000 and 24,000 seeds per acre. Um, you can really see the differences in tip filling, um, pollination of the butts, and just overall pollination here at the low 40% ET level. Right now it's hard to see yield differences. Um, once again these are just two random ears we pulled off the plants. The real test is when we harvest these plots. Um, we're not expecting huge yield gains over these drought tolerant uh, varieties here uh, for their first generation. We will continue to water this corn until the study's done, then we'll run them through with the plot combine and we'll see what they do. Just for a reference, I am six foot six inches tall. Right now we're staying in the 40% ET level corn. Uh, we've applied 13.6 inches of irrigation on it. Right now we're staying in the 50% ET level. Um, we've applied 15.7 inches of irrigation on this. You can see that the plants are shorter than the 65% but surprisingly they, they still pollinated well and they're producing an ear. Right now we're staying in the 65% ET level where we've applied 19 and a half inches of irrigation water. Not only do you notice that the plants are taller, um, but also you see better pollination, longer cob length, and more kernels around. Right now we're staying in the 75% ET level. We've applied 22 inches of irrigation water. And as you can see, there's a there's a very big height difference between the 75 and 65 percent ET level. We're now staying in the 100 percent ET level. We've applied 28 and a half inches of irrigation water up to this point. Um, as you can tell, there's not much height difference from the 75 and 100 percent. We don't expect there to be a big yield difference also.